Hello and welcome to our special craft video with Recreate. Rock, paper, scissors, design and make mega mini tunes. My name is Trisha and I work as a museum educator at the National Museum of Ireland Archaeology. Today I'm going to tell you about megalithic tombs and the art found on these tombs. Joe from Recreate is then going to show you how to make and decorate your own mini megalithic tomb at home. Before we get crafting, I'm going to tell you a little bit about megalithic tombs. Today we are talking about a time period called the Stone Age. In the Neolithic, the last phase of the Stone Age when people started to farm, people also started to build really big tombs. These tombs are made of really big stones, so we call them megalithic tombs. When a person died, their remains were placed inside the tomb. The tombs are very special to the people who built them, and we think that special celebrations took place at these monuments throughout the year. There are a few different types of megalithic tombs in Ireland, and just one example is a passage tomb. We call it a passage tomb because it has an entranceway and then a corridor or a passage that brings you to the centre of the tomb. When these tombs were built, they were then covered in large mounds of earth and stone. One of the most famous passage tombs in Ireland is Newgrange. And on the shortest day of the year, the winter solstice, the rising sun shines through a small box over its entranceway and it lights up the chamber. I am now going to pass you over to Jo in Recreate and her curious kitchen for all the creative action. Thank you, Trisha. And hello and welcome to the curious kitchen here at Recreate. My name is Jo and I am delighted to be playing and making with you for the next few minutes. For those of you that are not familiar with Recreate, we take end of line materials and creatively reuse and repurpose them in loads of different ways. We have been working closely with the National Museum of Ireland Archaeology to encourage you to create something beautiful with easily found materials gathered from around where you are. We are curious about the engineering and art related to the megalithic tombs here in Ireland and this is what we want to share with you in the video. Recently, we've been asking ourselves, what can we make from used paper like bills, envelopes and old notebooks and what really is recycling? These questions have inspired us to explore the paper recycling process and see how we can use the paper mush as a sculpting material. In this video, we will be giving you a list of ingredients to make your very own mini megalithic tomb. We've made sure to give you a few options so that all ages and abilities can take part. We ask that you get curious and investigate the materials around you and challenge yourselves not to buy any materials. In the next part of the video, we'll be looking at what you'll need. So let's get cracking. So what will you need? Materials. Grab some shredded paper, old bills, envelopes or notebooks. Some PVA glue. Some water half a jam jar, some plastic bottles and or some toilet rolls, some cardboard. The tools you will need will be a mixing bowl, a sieve if you have one, an old dishcloth, a straw, some scissors and a hand blender is optional to make your life easier. Making your mini megalithic tomb, how to. You're gonna gather your silver bowl, add your shredded paper and half a glass of water into the bowl itself. Allow 15 minutes for the water to be absorbed into the paper. You're then gonna sieve out or use your dishcloth to strain out any excess water. 
Once you've done that, it's time to add a little bit of PVA glue. So half a jam jar of water, if that's what you put in, you're gonna do half of that again. So a quarter of a jam jar with the PVA glue. This will allow for it to stick all together. You're gonna mix these in together and then add them onto whatever you've decided to redecorate or repurpose. So it might've been a plastic bottle or a toilet roll. And in our case, we used a plastic bottle. We've then mushed on the paper mulch onto the outside of the bottle and quite firmly pushed it down. If you have a hole in the top of your bottle, you might want to put a little bit of cardboard in the top just as a little blocker so none of the paper mulch goes down inside. This paper mulch will take approximately 24 hours to dry and may be quicker if left out in the sunshine. Making the mobile and the sun surround. We wanted to give you a number of different options and if you would prefer to do something 2D as opposed to the 3D that we showed you in the previous clip, we thought that you could use the piece of cardboard to cut out stones and turn into a mobile. So almost like a shadow maker. We also thought it would be really nice if you grabbed a torch, if you have one at home, happy days, and created your very own sun surround. So you become almost like the sun traveling around your megalithic tomb. This is very simple. Grab your cardboard, draw around the, the edge of your torch, and then create a sun-like shape to fit onto the front of it. Now that you've created your mini megalithic tomb, it is now time to decorate it. Did you know that megalithic tombs are decorated with patterns? We call this megalithic art. Megalithic art can be found on large stones called orthostats around the inside and the outside of the tomb. Take a look at all the different shapes on our replica passage tomb here at the museum that might give you some ideas of how you'd like to decorate your own at home. What shapes and patterns can you see? There are circles, spirals, zigzags, triangles and diamonds. We don't really know what this art is supposed to be, but we do know that people in the Stone Age created this art with sharp tools that they etched, incised or carved onto the stone. Now I'm going to pass you back over to Joe, who will show you how you can decorate your megalithic tomb at home. In this next section, we're going to look at decoration and megalithic art, inspired by some of the megalithic art that we might see here in Ireland. We have decided to do a relief pattern as opposed to emboss, which is what you would usually see on the stones, using string. So you can glue down your design and then cover it with a tissue paper to make sure that it's firmly held in place. We've also used green tissue paper to decorate it and give it a moss feel so it's like it's been out in nature and aged for a while. You can see here that we've decorated at the same time the 2D versions, the 2D designs, which will be for the mobile, and the 3D ones, which would be for our mega mini tomb. What type of things do you think you'll be inspired by to put on your tomb or your mobile? Do you think you might do spirals or waves? We've also then started to use some paint here to give the stones a more stone-like feel using grey and white paint and then some yellow for the sun surround. Now we would like to share with you what we've created and please remember this is just a starting point and aiming to inspire you to create your own beautiful mini megalithic tomb. You're going to get the full 360 of what we've created there. There's even a secret compartment in the top of that little plastic bottle. In this section we are going to be putting together our mobile. So here's a little photograph of the materials that you will need in order to put your mobile together. Simple materials, easy to find. So we've used some simple sticks from nature here where we've crossed them over and tied them around the center to create a cross-like structure. And then simply made holes in our 2D stones, threaded them up with string, and there you have it. You've created your very own mobile, or maybe it's more like a sundial. 
And finally, the light show where you become the sun using your torch, creating beautiful shadows and silhouettes. We hope you enjoyed making with us and we look forward to seeing you in the future. If you would like to share your creations with us, please do. All the information is on the last slide of the video. Thank you for watching and I hope you had a lot of fun making your own mini megalithic tomb. I just want to give Jo Recreate and her Curious Kitchen a big, big thank you for showing you how to make your own megalithic tomb at home. Do come into the museum to see our replica passage tomb and our many, many artifacts from the Stone Age. But for now, it's a goodbye from me.